I've said it before, and I'll say it again, ladies and gentlemen, the kids are all right. All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you lot are doing well, and welcome to today's video, which is a match review of Chelsea's 7-1 demolition of admittedly Grimsby Town but Chelsea played a lot of youth in this game and this was a very entertaining match for a load of reasons. I went to the game so today's match review will be less of a minute by minute report and more of a general talk about the stats and performances and there's a lot of positives in there. And before we get into it and dissect this game everybody I want to remind you to subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit the bell notifications icon because man is uploading daily and I want you guys to keep up with the content and if you want to support me please do also like this video right so coming into this carabao cup game midweek frank lampard was still without a home win as chelsea manager and if it wasn't going to come in this game boy who knows when it was ever going to come but the truth is chelsea have been putting in good performances and lapses of concentration have been costing them so this game was a banker and you know you never want to be overly confident in football but this was grimsby town or league two side not a particularly amazing one and this was a huge huge game for them shout out to the grimsby fans very vocal support um, got a bit aggressive down in the shed end between themselves, but other than a bit of handbags, they were great in terms of supporting their team. Frank Lampard fielded a weaker side, and we'll talk about that in just a moment. I just want to reiterate how important this was to get a home win, um, and I was a little bit concerned that Frank Lampard was going to do what he did against Valencia and maybe play a little bit too safe in a free-back system, which in my opinion was to his detriment. But no, he went all-out attack and it seemed to work. So I want to take you through the goals and talk you through some statistics. So let's bring up the analysis screen. All right, here we go. The graphic next to me is the match report slash match center from who scored that gives you comprehensive statistics of the game. And I'll talk about those stats and stuff in a minute when I run through a couple of things. As you can see, Grimsby Town employed a 5-3-2, quite a defensive formation. They probably knew they were going to be up against it, but they wanted to get forward when they can. They didn't see much possession. As you can see, only 28% in total, which I kind of guess is expected. And obviously also they only had 8 shots to Chelsea's 24. But interestingly, from the Chelsea perspective, Frank Lampard employed what we thought would be his go-to formation generally as a Chelsea manager. The 4-2-3-1. First off, as expected, or as hoped for Callum Hudson-Odoi started and finished this game as did young Reese James which loads of Chelsea fans and people interested in English football have been calling out for because this lad is talented. Mark Gay partnered Zuma and defense who were both very very good and Mark was very impressive the 19 year old looks very confident I guess he didn't have much to do and this isn't the greatest barometer of testing his skill the back line didn't have much work to do. Alonso and James on the flanks really interestingly the deep midfield pairing was Billy Gilmore and Ross Barkley. Now this was interesting for me because this is probably the least engine room duo you could ever see. It's probably it, both of them for me are attacking midfielders. Now I know Billy Gilmore's played that sort of you know quarterback register role before and it turns out he's amazing at it but he's still so slight. He looks like your 14 year old brother. Do you know what I mean? But credit to him. I'll talk about him in a little bit. He doesn't shy away from anything. And despite being tiny, he had an immense performance and this kid runs the game. So Hudson Adoy was back in the team. He was playing on the left wing. Christian Pulisic got a game, he was playing on the right wing, and interestingly, Pedro, the captain on the day, was playing in the number 10 role, so that's really interesting. Pedro's played everywhere for Chelsea, he's played on both wings, well, mainly the right, he's played in the 10, and he's played wing back and stuff, so he's getting turning into a bit of a utility player. And Michy Batshuayi played up front as the number 9, and he did really, really well today. Showed Frank exactly what he's about, scoring goals, two feet, holding up the ball better. Superb. Right, so I do want to talk about player performances and run through the team and maybe a couple of the young substitutes that came on. But let me run you through the goals quickly. Fourth minute, Chelsea aren't messing about. Pedro plays in a ball for an advancing Ross Barkley, picks it up, drives forward. No defenders though, want to touch him in the area and he rifles away the first goal. Chelsea, 1-0, 4 minutes. Michy Batshuayi, who is chomping at the bit to get on the score sheet and show Frank what he's about. 
scores not long after in the seventh minute, bangs one away nicely. At this point, Chelsea fans are rubbing their hands together. Maybe a bit of complacency comes in and Grimsby do get a goal back in the 19th minute. Courtesy of Matt Green. Now, Frank Lampard wasn't happy about this goal. He actually commented on it in the post-match presser. He said it's details, which meant Chelsea lost to Liverpool. And he said this was a detail that they'd actually talked about when they were preparing for this game. A flick on to finish. Now, to be fair, it was an incredibly good finish by uh, Matt Green. And I was actually right next to this goal when I watched it. And I was like, fair play. He struck that really nicely. But if this is something that you've covered in training and match preparation, you can understand why Lampard is frustrated with his players. So yeah, 2-1. But come the 43rd minute, Chelsea would regain that cushion and Pedro will dispatch a penalty. Now Chelsea were awarded this penalty and I guess the big question was, is Barkley going to take it? But no, he didn't go anywhere near it after the controversy at Valencia. Pedro, the captain on the day, picked it up, put it down the middle after sending the keeper the wrong way. 3-1 Chelsea. Right, no changes at the break and come off the 56th minute and it's a lovely goal. Kurt Zuma bangs one in, but an immense assist from young Reese James who's been pretty darn good at this point, so lovely to see him get an assist. We know that Reese James has immaculate service and we know Kurt Zuma can score goals, so superb. 4-1 Chelsea. In the following minutes, Grimsby Town make a couple of substitutions, and after a while, Frank Lampard decides to make a couple of his own. In the 66th minute, Frank Lampard removes Marcus Alonso and brings on the young, highly rated left back, Ian Matson. And in the 67th minute, Pedro comes off for Tino Anjuran, who comes on, who was immaculate as well. This guy's built incredibly big. He's been doing really well in the development squad. He looks great, and he was great in this game. 82nd minute, and something we all wanted to see. The ball falls quite Quite far out away from goal but the advancing young superstar right back Reese James strikes it so sweetly scores a long range goal and he's basically had a superb game at this point he deserves that goal great finish and he understandably is elated to score his first Chelsea goal 86th minute Michy Batshuayi completes a brace who's been good in this game Christian Pulisic gives him that goal, he assists him, and that's nice to see their Dortmund link up happening once again. I'll talk about Pulisic in a little bit. I didn't think he was very good in this game um, for a few reasons I'll get into, but he assists uh, Michy, which is lovely, gets a goal, 6-1 Chelsea. And in the 89th minute, Michy Batshuayi involved yet again, two goals and an assist this time for young Callum Hudson-Odoi, that superstar who's been trying all game, Finally gets his goal in the dying seconds of this match, assisted by Michy. Shout out to Michy. Great goal by Hudson Adoy. He deserves it, really. Full time, Chelsea 7, Grimsby Town 1, a demolition. Uh, the goal they gave away is something Frank Lampard will be frustrated about, like he said. But, you know, lapses of concentration, a whole new starting 11, or certainly in terms of chemistry. Um, maybe defensively flawed in terms of that midfield, but. Still very, very good. So as you can see on the graphic next to me anyway, the stats are pretty dominating from Chelsea. And Chelsea's rating of 7.69 by who scored is actually incredibly high. That will take account into everything in terms of the players and performance and stuff. It's a superb performance from Chelsea, completely dominating and very exciting football to watch indeed. The 4-2-3-1 is the kind of, this is the kind of football Frank Lampard wants to play with his first team but probably saw that it was going to be a bit more difficult and he reverted to a 4-3-3 and at times the 3-4-3. Right, shout outs to a few players. I've got to start with young Billy Gilmore, the Scottish lad. Again, I had big concerns for him, especially playing in that midfield, but this kid does not shy away from anything. He's got the dictation play of Jorginho. He can play long passes like Fabregas. I don't want to hype him too much. I don't want to be too hyperbolic, but this game, he's very quick at releasing the ball. He receives it, releases it, receives it, releases it. Kind of like Jorginho but he's got a bit more of the Fabregas in him in terms of seeing the killer pass um, obviously defensively he's not amazing because he's so little but he doesn't shy away from anything and that's why he was amazing in this game speaking of shying away I was a little bit disappointed with Christian Pulisic he looks like a man low on confidence and he was maybe shying away from 50-50s and duels a little bit I think again it's a confidence thing I mean you're coming up against a big strong League 2 side in Grimsby Town and you know what let me know your thoughts in the comments but I thought that maybe they weren't passing to him as some of the Chelsea players when he was running the channels and he was available for the pass it did look like they weren't passing to him which I have no idea why they would not because he's a good kid he's a good player and 
whatever. Maybe they feel like he's not informed, but he didn't look great. He made a few mistakes. Nice for him to get an assist, though. There's plenty of time for Christian Pulisic, so these are the kind of games he needs. He's got an assist. He'll hopefully play some more games like this, maybe in the FA Cup, get into the first team, sub minutes, and then he can muscle his way in. Again, I can't really comment on the centre-backs too much. Uh, obviously, Kerr got his goal and Mark was solid, but they weren't tested that much. Alonso put in a decent performance, very sort of mature and professional, won a lot of balls. He doesn't shy away from 50-50s. Obviously, he's a big, tall Spaniard. So he's been doing better lately, Alonso, so shout out to him. Obviously, Reese James had an absolute banger. He He's a superb player well, most Chelsea fans have been waxing lyrical about this young guy and he did himself more favours in this game and he really will become Chelsea's starting right back before the season is out. Barkley was decent in midfield got his goal he was very uh, confident he did some good play but I do, he should be better than this level Barkley so for me I'm quite happy with him I know a lot of Chelsea fans aren't but I think he's a very good squad player and I wouldn't want him to leave Chelsea if, especially if he can play in this deep midfield too in the number 10 in a front three I feel like he's a good squad player and Chelsea should be happy that we can utilize him decent serviceable performance Pedro very mature very good on the ball very good at receiving the ball running through nothing too much to say really it was a lower league opposition and he did his thing Michy Batshuayi played very very well he did himself the world of good in this game two goals and an assist he showed Frank Lampard he can use both feet he's strong he can hold up the ball he can run in behind he can dominate centre backs he's a big boy that's sure I remember as well so I think he's almost pushed himself in front of Giroud after that performance and maybe he'll be utilised more and more as a sub in the Premier League Hudson Adoy absolutely demonstrated his worldly talent today amazing touches receiving the ball great at dribbling but he did overplay a little bit at times and Frank Lampard did comment on the post-match press conference how he wasn't actually happy with Hudson Adoy in the first half. Obviously, he scored a great goal and the goal would have been coming, but he expects so much from him, and it's good that he's not, you know, heaping praise on him. He's like, yeah, but he can do better. He was doing this wrong, and I like that from Frank. So, good performance from Hudson Adoy, but we expect a worldly from him, and that should come. Martin was very good when he came on as well, very highly rated youngster at left back. I think we'll be seeing more and more of him, but not that he can muscle out Emerson, in my opinion, but certainly he could be maybe the deputy left back he's that good and obviously Tino came in in the number 10 he was superb big strong lad technical had loads of energy and proved he was a baller he made Chelsea better and strengthened the team so that's a huge positive for Chelsea right superb scenes there let's get rid of the analysis screen all right everyone it was only league two opposition but it was still a great game and a great performance from what was a bunch of new fresh faced players from Frank Lampard he'll be very very pleased to know that he's got this depth in this squad and all these kids can do a job so you know Chelsea have just drawn Manchester United in the next round why not play a bunch of these kids mixed with a few first teamers Lampard's definitely gonna have a headache now when it comes to all that and that's a good thing it's exciting he's got choices suddenly he's gonna be thinking yeah you know what I can put these kids in no problem anyway that's the end of my match review guys it was a superb game it was exciting I thoroughly enjoyed it what do you think about the game and the player performances get down in the comments below and let me know your thoughts remember if you have enjoyed the content please do like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new and you you can follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter at Football Yannick. That's it, guys. I'm out. You enjoy the football. I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chuck. In my life, seen trouble. Hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle. Bad boy, stay in trouble. I only love this paper. Sorry, I don't. I let me back.